Hello everybody, welcome to the Tokyo Sky Tree, or at least a very close uh, avenue that leads straight to the Tokyo Sky Tree called Tower Avenue, Tower View Avenue, I'm sorry. It's a beautiful day and you can see in front of us the Tokyo Sky Tree um, looking pretty good with that blue sky. I've been taking a time lapse up there and if you look closely right now at 450 meters up, they're doing the window cleaning. And I came back here uh, this morning and filmed from the very top on the outside uh, of the window cleaning. And then I went up to the 497 meters to the top platform here to look at the lightning um, Rogowski coils, which I thought were, was super cool experience. I'm gonna zoom back out here. If you take a look at the um, uh, camera, I'm filming it in 8K right now. You can see the gondola, do you see that? The gondola outside there, I'm filming the last shot uh, where they're cleaning the windows. May be the most frightening job in the city of Tokyo. And I'm really excited to edit this video up and put it online. <laughs> I'm such, a, such an otaku for, for these uh, technolo technology stuff. Um, I, I can't believe it, about three hours ago, I was up outside with a helmet and a vest. I'm looking over the edge of it with just a cable holding onto me. I'm looking over the edge of the sky tree down to the ground. Um, it took a long time to get access and permission to film this. And I've had my eyes on when they're going to be doing the, the window cleaning. So I was able to get that location shoot done for the main channel. Very scary. So I've got two episodes about the Tokyo sky tree coming up. Um, earthquake safety and how it moves uh, in case an earthquake. How, how exactly would the, the world's tallest freestanding tower uh, do in an earthquake that happened right underneath it? And then second, how do they clean the windows? <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna totally do this episode. And you can see right now, uh, that's as far as the iPhone will film. That gondola is, uh, it's a pretty cool system actually. The gondola is inside of the tower. And when they clean the windows out, it retracts. And what's the opposite of retract? Out tracks and then drops down the gondola. So it's kind of a very high tech thing. In this live stream, I wanted to take you up and down because if you do come to the sky tree and if you're looking for the best pictures, this is it. And if you have a wide angle lens, all the buildings around here are two or three stories high, except for that one, which is five. But everything else is just dwarfed to the massive sky tree here. Um, yeah, I've been filming this episode since April when we got the chance to go into the basement of the sky tree to look at the coils that the entire structure is on, a bunch of coils. I think it was like five coils. So it moves with an earthquake, which is incredible. And that would be like underneath there. <laughs> like I was, Peter was with my cameraman this time. And, and uh, for this shoot, we, I had a, uh, a friend that I know from NHK, he's a cameraman there and he came to help out. Um, but definitely, you need a pro to do this. A pro cameraman, because I can't film myself. Wow, look at the, there's the gondola protrude, protruding out. And there he's going up right now. So, yeah, I was up there. <laughs> this is just crazy. And then I walked the steps and I was up here. And uh, there's a lot of things I can't show you because of, um, I don't know, they don't want to show the technology and stuff maybe. Um, so I have to mosaic some areas of it, but I wanted to show the lightning, if it, the lightning strikes, what happens. Uh, I don't know if it's counterbalanced from the top, like the Yokohama Tower, but they have a structure in the core that moves counter, uh, so it counterbalances from the core instead of from the top. It's a fascinating number. It's a fascinating process. So I'm just going to get a couple more shots here. The wind is strong here. That was another reason because the, this shoot had canceled yet, uh, five days ago. I had to come back here to shoot this um, again at eight o'clock, but I was happy because you can see we have blue skies. And um, when I first came, it was raining. It was kind of scary to be up there because you could slip, but, but you have safety vests and cables and I was strapped in. Uh, I'll post a picture. You ought to be freaked out. I'll post a picture on Instagram a little bit later of me, um, not freaked out, but I probably should have with the vest on and the helmet. Not that that would help if you were to go over, but there, there are places where you could hit your head having to duck underneath some of the rafters and the, um, the metal um, poles there. It, it's very easy to hit your head. So in that case, it's important to have a helmet on. Uh, 
Uh, let me zoom in. I just want to get a couple of, couple of final shots of the gondola going up and down here. Um, it's a hot one today. I think it's well over 30 degrees, it feels like. Not, nothing like what you guys are experiencing in Europe and the UK, but I'm gonna, um, actually, I can just leave my camera there and uh, we can walk a little bit around. Nobody's gonna touch it. Introverted otaku! I'm glad I could make it today to the stream. I bet it's scary to be cleaning the windows on such a windy day. It was even scarier when it was raining five days ago, but they de deemed it too dangerous, which is probably a smart idea. Uh, and then they canceled the uh, uh, window cleaning. It's okay. I, I, I don't mind coming back, but I have a lot of stuff to do and a lot of videos that I have editing uh, has been delayed as a result of so many stuff things going on. So this is uh, Tower View Avenue, and you can see it's just a straight shot. And uh, yeah, it goes, it actually, beyond that intersection, it keeps going straight. Peter was here. He was filming what I'm filming, but I'm filming it in 8K and, and I, have, I can't review his footage. And since it's a beautiful day, I'm taking it. They only do the window cleaning. They only do the window cleaning um, maybe twice a year. So they did it, I think once in March and then again in July. So I don't think they're gonna do it again this year. So it's a really special treat to get a chance to film. Um, a lot of the uh, media, I was the only media there, which is awesome. Nobody else had put in a request to film this, so that was really cool. But getting access to film um, things like this, it really takes months of, of talking and, and waiting and tons of paperwork. So I'm glad, you know, with the support of Patreon, I have an assistant that, that can uh, take care of some of that stuff for me because it's just ridiculously complicated. I gotta hold, I gotta hold the camera. It's shaking. I can fix that in, in post-production, in uh, editing. So they do like a wipe, uh, wet, wet, wipe, wipe. They move the gondola down, wet, wet, wipe, wipe, and then one more below, and then they reach, um, bring it back up and then move the whole thing over. So this is gonna take several hours for them to do this. But it's just fascinating because in Tokyo, there isn't any spot higher than this. It's uh, 600 and, 43 meters high, although I believe it's over 450, this observation deck is over 450 meters. So that's quite high. So I'm just gonna wait until it comes back up. I have uh, uh, 21 min minutes left on this um, SD card. Oh my gosh, I was filming at 8K 422 10-bit. What? That's why the battery's draining and the camera's getting so hot. I should have done um, 420 8-bit. It is what it is. Oh, look, now you can see the gondola has gone underneath there. So it's cleaning the bottom of the windows. That's crazy. Uh, Isaac, DSLRs are done. They're all mirrorless now. So I haven't used a DSLR ever in my life. I was using camcorders and then I moved to mirrorless. The GH4 was my first mirrorless. And this is the A1. You guys want to see it if you really care here this is the alpha one that shoots in 8k um they did a firmware update that that allows for 422 10 bit 8k which is crazy good luck editing it oh here comes the gondola now going it's going up i don't think spider-man could would i think even spider-man would be afraid up here all right nice and smooth no wind. All right, I like this shot here. Oh, this is perfect. There's two guys on there, one controlling the gondola, and then when they stop, they both clean the window, and another guy who's there to clean. So there's a gondola operator and then a cleaner. And uh, that's that's a shot here. And it's, uh, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool operation that they got. It moves pretty evenly. Um, but if you're in the sky tree when they do it, it freaks out the people on the inside because we took some we, we took some video um, of the gondola coming uh, with the people around there, 
and it kind of freaks him out because the gondola comes you're like what there's people outside the window because this is the 450 meters up and uh, when you do get a chance to see um this happening it's pretty cool i think i think we're okay i'm gonna stop here review the footage Okay, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, and for the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna do a time lapse. <laughs> so might as well do a time lapse. Maybe a 10 minute time lapse. Just let the camera run, uh, and then I can warp stabilize it if it's uh, too shaky. Here, this is my job. I came here with this kit. This is what I do. Yeah, this is a tripod today. Um, it's a small bag for live streaming, and then it's kind of a mess. There's my laptop to back stuff up, some extra batteries. Um, I got a bunch of lenses in here. There's the uh, A7S III, the 10 to 24 wide angle uh, GoPro. There's another tripod here, um, um, another mic. I'm using a wireless mic too. This is a 35 1.4 prime. And I lost the cap to it, so I got to be really careful. And then a 135 1.8 prime. Master, it's a pretty cool lens. And then I have a light inside of here, and I usually put the gimbal in there as well. Um, the Ronin, and then the drone, a separate bag. Oh, you know what? I can turn this down. Hold on a second, I can turn this. Yeah, let's get it to zero. There we go. Start over. Look at how fast the clouds are going. So I want to go this a little bit wider. There we go. Nice. All right. So just I'm gonna let it roll for a little bit. The clouds are moving pretty fast. And uh, I bet you it shuts down because it gets hot anyways. Spider-Man versus the Japanese Spider-Man. I think. I think there are already a bunch of Japanese Spider-Man. One of the coolest things that I've seen with um, this job, which is cleaning cleaning um, in the really hard to reach places, you see them with ropes. You'll see a half a dozen Japanese dudes with ropes attached underneath the bridge and they're cleaning the bottom of the bridge, swinging with ropes. This is something that I don't think, I'm not sure if other YouTubers have covered, but you've, I've seen it on Instagram and it's a pretty cool thing to see. Uh, they do things the old traditional way in a lot of these professions and this is kind of one of them if they didn't have If they didn't have the gondola, I wonder how they would have cleaned this it would have been pretty cool I bet but they have the gondola so they don't have to do spider-man stuff um, I don't know if any international people have climbed the sky tree without cables and stuff, but I wouldn't do it They're pretty strict probably somebody did it There's always somebody who did it. That's a nice shot. It's so we're gonna have a pretty good um Time lapse, the clouds are moving fairly quickly. Five minutes will give me about 10 seconds, I think. Just let her run. And I, I think I can bring out the shadows in post-production, but still keep the clouds moving fast. Oh wow, it's moving fast. Lucky, it's been raining like every day. So just to be out here in the sun, I'm just ecstatic because I didn't think we'd have this chance here today. What do you think, guys? Is this Sky Tree a place that you visited before? Is this a place maybe you'd consider coming to? Its primary purpose is not a... Um... Hey, Miracle Emery, thank you for being a, a traveler for 17 months as well. Michael Sassano, such a nice day compared to the live stream yesterday. That's exactly. It's been such an awful uh, week that I, we lucked out that the 20th was, um, was a nice day because there's a very good chance if it had rained today and it didn't look that great this morning. Um, gosh, what would I have done? I would have to come back again. And we're leaving in eight days. Have, has any of you, have you guys already backed the Kickstarter project? We're leaving in eight days, which is crazy. So I'm happy that this, this episode is all filmed now, which is really good. As soon as I get this last shot here, it's all filmed, I can start editing it and I probably won't get it out till September because I got so many other um, things to edit. Uh, gosh, I'm, I can't catch my breath. Things are moving fast, like this. Which is awesome. I gotta keep it moving. 
Chan is in the trunk. Chan, please, if it's so hot outside. I know Australia, maybe it's, it's not as hot in the trunk there, but if you are in Europe for some reason, just drill a hole or something and maybe, <laughs> I can't imagine. Michael, thank you for backing the Kickstarter. But it's been a while, Chan, it's nice to see you. quality is quite clear today it's getting better I updated the YouTube app I have let them I have given them my concerns and told them please and you can see today they're cleaning the window the gondola is out on the on the upper deck I was on the outside above all of that looking leaning over and looking so that was my main focus for today the window cleaning and filming the dudes who were cleaning it nice guys hard-working dudes Honestly, I don't know how they do it. You have to have some, dare I say, balls of steel <laughs> to do that job. Because I had a cable on it and I could look up over it, but standing on it all day, going up and down, if there was an earthquake, I don't think it would move that much. I'll show you in the video um, about it, but uh, very, very interesting. Uh, very interesting. get the best picture you're gonna to want to do it here if you have a super wide you can maybe go back about another 300 meters you can get more into the camera uh, back to the Lawson's there but um, this might be the best place to take the sky tree video if you want to get the whole thing because because the street is so straight you get one of the clearest views that's why they call it tower view Avenue. Wow, the wind is really strong microphone so this is the best I could do with the wind quality yeah this isn't the dead cat is on the mic it's just that windy I gotta turn if I turn my back it's better maybe it's a little bit better now all right everybody I'm gonna go home and start to edit this but I wanted to share with the share this day with you because when you see the main channel episode you will have been here for this and the window cleaning takes place twice a year if you're lucky enough to catch it the sky tree is extra special with the ninjas outside on the gondola. Super cool. Have a good day. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Matane. Let me get a drink. Wow. The Kua Aina burger looks pretty good there. I might get a burger. Thanks, guys.